Hello YouTube and welcome to a video. I do... I've never really recorded my desktop. I've never had to. But this time I'm recording my desktop and this is not a gaming video. This is me in a fucking bad mood. Uh, pretty much what it is, is I, I am a freelance developer. I make PHP scripts for fun, pretty much. And recently I've been working on one for the uh, IRC services package a note which converts eTheme databases to a note databases. But that probably won't interest you. But I'm trying to sort this script and get it out as quick as I can as it's been a long time since a note 1.9 was released and no one's really came up with any way of converting the databases and even if it has it's never been released or publicly released should I say and I've got my personal server which I do all my development on with Chicago VPS um, which I've been with for a while now it started off great the VPS's are amazing for game servers you name it, it's pretty bloody good but this past two months I've had the worst time of my life whatsoever. Every 24 hours my connection drops and everything I have connected to IRC or any other service disconnects uh, and I'm not happy about it. But let me just point out one thing that's annoyed me. Uh, let's look at their website as you can see it's on my screen and Yes, my server's dead as we speak. I can refresh it, it might load, unless it's completely dead, and it looks like it's dead. Even my SSH is, it's died. And as you can see, I was working on an exact project, and it died on me. So, let's look at their website. It's got 99.9% .9 guaranteed uptime, which is a lie. I've had 70% pretty much. If I want to be really mean, I could say about 50, which is about what it is. And the past two months, it's going down every day for a while. And it don't exactly completely go down, it just, everything loses connection. Which is inefficient for stuff like IRC bots. So that's a lie, but let's go down to here. I've got the 99.9 .9 uptime guarantee. That's a lie. Security is out of type priority, okay, don't mind that. Then we've got these two here. So this security is fine. Yes, you get full root access. That's wrong. No, you don't get that much uptime. Customer support is not 24-7. It is about one time seven. You get, you know, it's like, it's only a certain part of the day when they actually reply. It's like they just sit there on their asses, wanking until they can be asked to look at their tickets because I've had tickets that can go up to three days until they're answered and I can set them to full priority and they will not get answered for anything between four hours, which I don't mind, to three days, sometimes a week. Then we've got solid and superior network. This is obviously incorrect. If they are telling me the truth. That's another thing. They always seem to have issues with script kiddies on their network. Which, okay, every VPS company has the odd idiot or a lot of idiots attacking stuff. But obviously their network is nowhere near solid and superior because my server's going down and the same time I make a ticket and it finally gets replied I get the scripted our technicians are looking at this let's go to our client area uh, yes it's quite slow that is kinda slow to be honest seeing as I can load other stuff really fast let's go to mini VPS and this site's pretty much instant hit login I'm straight into the client area uh, which is great and I've got some of my servers with mini VPS but my main personal one with Chicago VPS is here 
So this is not slow, uh, not fast, this is slow. I've got a ticket here about unstable connection. I'll show you my support ticket. Let's go to my services. It's actually loading fast for a change. Oh no, it's gone really, really slow. Finally, it's loaded it with the most horrible font I've ever fucking seen in my life. I I don't like it whatsoever. Oh wow, what a surprise! It can't connect to their backend, which, as you or may or may not know, WHTMS, which has VPS hosting support, connects to the backend, which will be, uh, in this case, is well, it's WH. Yeah, it will be Solus VM. It can't even connect to their node, so it's like the whole node is just dying repeatedly, and they're not doing anything to stop it. The they must know about it, but they don't seem to be doing anything. So when this is showing, sometimes it shows my server is offline. So what would any sane person do? They would boot it up, and that does not work. It will not boot up. Sometimes it boots, and sometimes it don't. But let's go to my support tickets. As you will straight away see, I have unstable connection, constant pinging, control panel, this I'll get to. Doesn't seem to be online. Um, and that's actually it. So I've not got too many tickets, but all of these have been since March. And the first one I would expect has been well, is that one? June. So this has been since June. So we can go straight here. We go. Are there any issues regarding my VPS? It's currently not online. It shows us online in the service section of the billing panel, yet there's no information there. And we get the scripted reply. We're getting pretty close to having this issue fully resolved. Okay, it's not exactly scripted. And that's just bullshit there. They, they obviously don't appreciate it. And um, this was back when they got exploited. Okay, I accept that, but they still did the script reply. Let's go back and go to our next one, which would be control panel. I, I'm not too sure if this is the card. Okay, yeah. The control panel doesn't exist anymore. The, integrated into the client area, which is even worse as it's now fucking slow. Well done Chicago VPS, you failed yet again. I have not even read this one, well I have, but via the email. Constant pinging. I wonder what this one's about. Let's go straight down to the bottom. My VPS's connection has been terrible lately. Anything that runs on the VPS loses connection every 10 to 15 minutes. This happened yesterday. We are monitoring the node to find out if there's any abuser. But there was a big DDoS that was caused that caused some network downtime. Well, thank you for telling me. Fucking sort it. I know it's not easy to sort a DDoS, but if you can find someone on your own network, remove them. And now we get to today's ticket, and this is really taking the biscuit. So I've been on IRC with my BNC, which has been going absolutely crazy. For the whole of yesterday, it was repeatedly pinging out and reconnecting to a point where it drove me insane. Then we've got, this is what got me. We're inves investigating this to get this fixed ASAP. It appears we have a few abusers on your system. What? Your system? Do they mean the node? Your system will be implying it's my VPS. It's not. Right, let's go to here. Could you update me when this has been resolved? I'm coding projects on my servers and I cannot test and develop. Then they said this should all be fixed now. This is when the server would not boot at all, as you can see there, and it was showing us offline. So we've got best staff member of the year. I am not particularly throwing abuse at this staff member. I have nothing about um, against this person. They're just the poor person that decided to do this. They decided to suspend the server and then unsuspend it. 
and it was all fixed. No, my server was completely down, I could not access it whatsoever, and going into the client area showed it as unable to connect to the back end, like I did st um, start of this video. And then I said, my VPS is still offline and my user panel cannot even connect to Solus VM to try and boot my VPS. Can you sort this out pronto? We are currently working on it, this should all be fixed soon. It was fixed, and I was um, happily working on Star oh, Way. No, it's died again. Thank you, Chicago VPS. Now let's just round off to Chicago VPS itself, uh, because I feel like I am babbling and I'm trying to talk quick. I don't want to have a long video. I feel bad if it's really long. But let's look. Uh, we've got Chicago VPS. Nice logo. Apparently the owner's a fucking dickhead. Uh, I won't be surprised because a lot of them send, tend to be. See, I like their service. It's cheap and affordable and when it's running fine, it's the best service I've ever had. You've even you've got this social which I did tweet to them. Let's click. Oh wait, what? They've not even got a logo for their profile picture. Wait, what type of company makes their company Twitter account and doesn't bother to even put the logo on it? I even tweeted them and they're still not replied. They've even got a Facebook which has got a logo. Clicking off, I don't want you to see my personal crap, there's nothing of interest to you. But I mean, absolutely, really. Chicago VPS, what are you playing at? You're a good service. And you've got plenty of data center locations. I'm based, I've got mine, I'm not too sure where. I think mine's actually in Chicago. But, look, stable and reliable, no. 99.9, .9, no. 24, no. What are you doing? I'm... What's this? Accredited business? Does that mean they're trusted? Does that mean that they're decent? Because... Sorry, but that's bullshit. I don't want to be a fan on your Facebook or follow you on Twitter just for the simple reason you're fucking bullshit. Unfollow. Fuck them. The only reason I'm not going to close my server is it's affordable and at this current time I have no income. So I'm going on what I have, I can't afford to move. And I've got a lot of stuff on that server, it's, it's just so much set up. So my message to you Chicago VPS, you've got a good company here, you're a good provider. Hashtag sort your fucking shit out. Like I said on Twitter. Fix your shit. And yeah, the YouTube comment system is fucking awful. Fix your shit too, Google, for God's sake.